I want to show you two things. One, a technique for, you know, someone gets what they call a crick in the neck. So they come around, they go, oh, oh yeah, yeah, no, nah, I feel it, but yeah. I'm going to give you something that's really great to do as a treatment technique when you're in, um, let's say you did your massage, this sort of thing, whatever treatments you did. Um, this is a great one if they get off the table and they still go, yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's better, but I, I can, right? Um, so they're having problems, let's say, rotating to the left. First of all, I'll give you home exercise. So let's say the person, you gave them that exercise, but it's still too really, it's kind of too sore. So you might find, and this is specific if the pain is up in the neck area here. Very often they might come out, but it's down here. This is not for, not so much for that. You palpate the neck. Like, so like where, or get them to ask them, you know, where are you feeling that pain there? Very often there'll be spasm and or a locked up joint, right? So, so the joints, when you turn to the left, sorry if you already know this, uh, if you turn to the left, so we've got your, uh, up your occiput, they start rotating and it sort of just keeps rotating down, right? All going well, but if they get stuck, so this will go, oh, or if there's spasm, right? And quite often they'll be the two, the, the, it'll lock up because of a stuck joint to protect the air. Right, so knowing that we wanna get that joint moving, okay? So let's say, I'll show you the treatment technique first, okay? So this would be something I would do uh, well, you could do it before or after the massage. I'd probably do it after. I'd just work it, you know, work the, do the do the treatments, the gua sha, the whatever, and see how they, you know, when they get off the table. All the other things apply, but let's say that you you gave them the exercises, but there's still pain, or this is a spe specific person that goes, it's worse on rotation. <laughs> I'll show you. So what you can do, and I would generally have them in a sitting up position. If you've got them lying down, you can just use your finger as you're going to rotate. The joint i'm going to show you sitting up so you can see what i'm doing so if i had someone uh, you you so you're sitting there towards me looking at me so if i got if I, you said you're, you're having problems turning it that way so i'll be the mirror image so turn that way which means this joint is not so if i'm problems here that joint is not rotating around like it should so what do i do first of all you find that the, you can do this on yourself right now find that area where it's painful. What you're going to be doing, you're going to be on the side, so you're going to make it come around that joint. So you're mobilizing the joint. So, okay, I've got problems here and the pain is here. So I'll show you what I'll do. So if you were to do that, I would be having my finger, for example, on that area that you said was painful, getting you to rotate and guide you through, sort of like this, as we're working around in mobilizing, making sure it's not uh, painful for them, not too painful, just, you know, as you're pressing on to, to get that to rotate. I'll show you. So, here we are. So this is, I'll say this is the level, say C4, and it's painful here, and I can't do it, so. So what you can see, I'm I'm working it around. Now, of course, you could, yeah, you know, if you've got the person there, you can ease with their head like this. Okay, this is not a. So we're mobilising the joint. I want to just be. Just show you what I just tell you what I just did then. Okay, so you know what I did, you, and I'm doing that, and I'm helping with the head. So you would do the same if you're sitting up. If you had the head in the hand at a supine position, same thing. You'd have your finger on that joint, and you get them to rotate, and you could help cradle the head as you come around. You understand that, don't you? It's not difficult stuff. Okay. So, but what I did here was went from zero with the pressure on, comfortable for the person, and I did a few like that, coming into range, like to increase their range and get that moving. Okay, I did that, right? And then what we call end range mobilizations. So what you can do then, so let's say you've warmed it up, you get that, you could test them if you want. Okay, see how that goes? Oh, that's, actually that's way better. Okay, is there any, yeah, right when I get on the end, there's still a bit there. Whether there is or not, but so then you can do end range mobilizations. Okay, so what we're doing, same thing, so you did this here, and you would have seen me do this, um, come around, and then get to that end range, and same thing, pressure on, but there's short amplifications, right? 
Okay, I just spin around so you can see it again. So what I do, I did start it off with the whole range, getting to the end, and of course you'd say to your client, look, let me know if there's any pain, let me, you know, just nice and comfortable, bringing it round. So you can see this would be this if you had them in a supine position. Okay, obviously you can't do it with the face down. Um, so I'm just gonna show you those again, so you look at, uh, I'm doing full range, and then I'll do just ones at the very end range. So full range first, end range at the end. By the way, so I'm on this, this right hand side to push it around, okay? I mean, you could try and come on this side, to put, but it's, it's, it's much better if you're sort of pushing it round. It's much easier, you know, otherwise it gets all grabby in the skin and there. So, okay, so full range and then end range. That is an awesome technique that you can get, uh, that you can do in the clinic for those clients that, are, that are, have that rotational problems and if you find that that's up in the neck, again, you might, there might be quite, quite often, you might, uh, it's down there. Well, that's not gonna be so, so easy to do. I mean, I mean, if you've got palpation skills where you can tell your know, lack of movement in specific joints, well, all the better, then you, you, know what, you know what to do. Right, so if that was the case, and the person still got to, you know, is, is, might wanna stick up again, Okay, you can get them to do that same thing um, in the clinic. Right? Uh, teach them in the clinic for them to do at home. Just get them, so you, you do that on them and you'll explain. So just kind of roll up a little microfiber. You, if they've got resistance bands, you can use that because they're a little bit grippier. But all you're doing is, I guess they could do it. You know, if they, again, you've got to check on your, you know, your clients. Some clients would be able to, um, you know, they're very um, tactile, so that they might sort of, oh yeah, I know what to do, I'll put my fingers in there, uh-huh, and that's what I do. You can explain that, what I've just done. Or, again, if they've got sort of, it's hard for their shoulder or something, and same thing, so you're, you're doing that with the towel, so I'm pulling this side, okay? Same thing, but then, and I'm pulling this one. This is just, just this is just, um, you know, just, just there to, so it doesn't fly away. Okay, but the pulling is this one. Okay. And the same thing, you can get them. Just I'm noticing I'm getting a lot more range of movement. I should be doing should be doing this more often. Okay, so now I'm pulling this. If it was the rotation to the right. Or both. Alright. So I've got some dusty. I mean, I think it might be dusty, I think. <laughs> Making my nose itch. Um okay. So just think along those lines, that's something you can get your clients to do, okay? Look, if you're talented, you know what you're doing in this, you can even do that with PNF, like with the uh, stretch resist, okay? Like, like I did this one here, but you could have that round, uh, okay, so you do that, and then you could sort of lock it up with this side, get them to turn back, and relax, and bring it, bring it to the next point. I'm putting that out there. It's a fantastic technique. If you can do it, so I'll do it to this side. So same thing. So you're getting them to come around. You fingers on the on the joint on the painful area. They're coming round, and then you can get them to rotate back. Okay, three to four seconds, whatever. Breathe in, breathe out, and then bring it round. As you're still using your finger to bring it round. Okay. So they're great techniques that you can really help your clients, especially when you have those pain on rotation and most definitely with restriction, if you can find where it's restricted and that's generally where it's painful. Again, if there's not pain on, uh, like on the movement, then palpate down and, and, and go, okay, are any of these particularly sore? Okay. Or as I say, if you can tell, you know, your, your spinous processes and your fat joints, you can tell, um, you know, restrictions like that one right there. Um, you know, feel it pop up, so it's not moving properly. I've got a bit of work I've got to do on myself here. So, yeah. So again, that goes. That that's just really down to your palpation skills, your your skill level in general. But 
that's another tool in your toolkit. Well, I hope you liked my video. If you did, please subscribe, like the video, comment if you would like. And if you'd like to see my full courses, you can go to markperrinjones.com. It's in the description box. You can click on the link. But thank you so much for watching.